<laughs> now, I went out to dinner the other night, and the chef came at the end of the, end of the meal, as it always does. See, I never really liked the chef at the end of the meal system, because money is a very different thing before and after you eat. Because before, before you eat, you like to rule the love and empire, bring me more drinks, more ice cream, even more ice cream. Bring me more soup. And at the end of the meal, when the pants are open, the napkins are destroyed, and the cigarette butts in the mashed potato, at that moment, the chef comes. Now, people who are mystified by the chef, they can't believe what they're looking at. They say, what? How could this be? And they start passing it around the table. We're not hungry now. Why are we buying all this food? <laughs> Another thing about food. Food will make people do amazing things. And the proof of that is cannibalism. So you sit there on a campfire eating some chicken and say, hmm, this is good. I like this person. Who is this? <laughs> but I reckon the harder thing about being a cannibal would probably be getting to sleep because you'd be like, oh, what? What do you want? What do you want? Are you hungry? You look hungry. Get out of here! somebody mumble something and you have to say excuse me why are we so sorry and apologetic like excuse me pardon me i'm sorry just one once i want to have the guts to go no not loud enough you know somebody mumble something you say no i'm not sorry because it's your fault you're not loud enough now another thing about humans i think humans need more training in their basic social skills conversational distance don't you hate those people who are like talking to your mouth and handshakes are the worst. Sometimes they give you the late release, the early release. Sometimes they give you the three quarter handshake, just the fingers. I've actually said to some people, hello, the handshake is over. Coming in too high, too low, too sweaty, coming in from too far away. <laughs> some guys will give you strong grip, late release, and pull you in for the close conversation. To him I say, that's three strokes. You're out. <laughs> Now, a few years ago, I was playing soccer with my friend Johnny, and I passed the ball to Johnny, he was running up the field, he kicked the ball, and he'd fallen on his back. And he was in a lot of pain, so all the teachers, all the students, even the principal, they all came running over. And then one of the teachers yelled out, quickly, children, call Johnny an ambulance. So they all sat down, pointed at the fingers, and said, Johnny is an ambulance, Johnny is an ambulance. <laughs> but don't worry about Johnny, he eventually did get an ambulance. And in the ambulance, he saw a picture of a gorilla. You know, big muscle. <laughs> and Joe looked closely at this gorilla, and he saw that it had huge nostrils. Now, does anybody here know why gorillas have big nostrils? Yeah, we've got lots of people in grade five that know why. It's actually because they've got big fingers. <laughs> Now you're probably all going to say bananas, but it's actually bananas and sausages. And once I saw a gorilla, he was cooking some sausages in a pan, and there were two sausages in the pan. One of the sausages said, oh gosh, it's hot in here. And the other one said, goodness gracious, a talking sausage! <laughs> Thank you for listening, don't worry, I'll be here all week. You've been a wonderful